Hi, this is Lynn Mobo for Superimpulse X, and today we're gonna go through sessions. A session is essentially a project, so I'm gonna show you how to create a new session or project in a couple of different ways, and how to go back and continue working on a previous session. When you open up the app, the first thing you will see are your sessions. You can view and edit any of your current sessions by simply tapping on it. That takes you to the editor, where you can continue working on it. To go back to the session view, tap this icon here at the top with the four little squares, and that will bring you right back to where we started. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find this big blue button that does exactly what it says, creates a new session. In the menu down here, you can choose between five different ways of creating your new session. The first way is from a photo in your photo library. The image that you pick is going to be the background layer of your project, so choose the photo that you want as the bottom layer. You can also create a new session from a Pixabay photo, so this feature actually lets you search Pixabay's website and choose one of their photos without even having to leave the Superimpose X app. There is a mask library where you can choose one of your saved masks, and we actually have a whole separate tutorial on masks and the mask library, so if you'd like to learn more about that, then make sure to go check that out. You can also start a new session from a color, either a solid color or a gradient. Once you've decided what type of colored background you want, you can select the colors of your choice. Then tap on the format that you want, and by tapping again, you can even put in a custom format. The fifth and final way to start a new session is through the pasteboard. Using the pasteboard, you can start a session from a picture that you've copied. So that way, you don't have to save the picture to your photo library, you can just simply copy it, and it will show up in the pasteboard. As you can see, I haven't copied a picture, so my pasteboard is empty. But if I go into Safari and look up a picture that I want to use, I can tap and hold and choose copy. And now when I go back into the pasteboard, this picture is going to be there, and I can start a session with this as the background layer. I want to start this session by selecting a photo from my photo library, so I'm going to go to Photos and tap on the photo that I want. I have the option of cropping the photo manually or selecting a pre-made format, but I don't want to crop this photo at all, so I'm going to go back to this manual one and just drag it down to cover the whole photo. Then just tap the check button. In order for a session to actually save and show up in your stored sessions, you have to make an edit to the project. As soon as you make a change, like for example, we could go into filter and basic and bring up the exposure a little bit, this project will now automatically save as a session. So if we go back to sessions, you will now see this as a saved session. From here, you can of course open any of your previous sessions up. You can start a new session. But if you try to open this current session, you will see that it says that this project is already active. So in order to go back and continue editing it, just tap the cross icon in the top left corner. I'm also going to just briefly touch on layers. We have a whole separate tutorial dedicated to just layers, so I won't go into too much depth right now, but if you wanted to add more images and create a little collage, you would go into the layers tab and tap the plus icon here to the right where it says add layer. I'm gonna choose photo layer and pick a photo from my library. Then we're gonna go into transform so that we're able to move the picture around. Using two fingers, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and place it where I want it. I want to add one more image, so again, I'm going into layers, tapping add layer, photo layer, the picture that I want, and then choose. I'm going into the transform tab and positioning it how I like it. So there we have a super simple little collage. In order to save this as a finished image to your photo library, just simply tap the second icon to the left here at the top. If you choose Export Project, you can transfer the project file to another device that has Superimpose X installed. You can also use this feature if you want to back up your projects on a computer. You can send it through email, Dropbox, iCloud, or even AirDrop if the other device is nearby. You also have the option to export the project as a PSD file if you'd like to continue working on it in Photoshop. 
If you want, you can save just the current layer as an image, but I want to save the whole collage as a photo, so I'm going to choose a blended image. You can also choose between different formats, JPEG, JPEG HQ, which stands for high quality, or PNG. PNG is going to give you the best quality as it uses lossless compression, but it will also take up the most space on your phone. So it depends on what you want to use it for, but if you're planning on keeping it on your phone or posting it to Instagram, for example, one of the JPEG formats will be just enough. You can choose to share it or open it in another app, but I'm just going to save it. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to duplicate, prune, or delete a session. So I have a bunch of saved sessions here, and as you can see, they all have these three little dots in their top right corner. If you tap it, you have the option to duplicate, prune, or delete the session. If you duplicate the session, that will create a copy of that session, which is really helpful if you want to try something new with that project without the risk of ruining it, because you're still going to have the original project saved as a separate session. By choosing the prune option, you remove all the project history, which means that the whole project and all the layers in the project will stay intact, but you won't be able to undo or redo things that you've done in the project in the past. If you have a lot of projects and they take up a lot of space, this is a great way to make them smaller without deleting them. But if you do want to delete a session, you can do that by tapping these three dots as well. And if you try to delete the active session, the one that you currently have open, you're going to get this extra pop-up just to make sure that you really want to delete it. If you'd like to delete several sessions at once, you can tap the select button in the bottom right corner, select the sessions that you want, and delete them all with just one tap. That's all for this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimpose X, and if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye!